Hi, I'm Alan Keja. I'm Karen Keja. And we are the core artistic directors of Keja to Dance. Sentence. Keja to Dance is an umbrella for all our activities. So our creation, our touring, our performances, our education, our community outreach, and whatever whims we have creatively, which is all dance related. And our film work. Film work, writing. 21 years of stuff. So I started, I was on varsity wrestling team at University of Waterloo, went into dance, School of Toronto Dance Theatre, and uh, that was in 1980, and I took my first dance class, and I just knew that was it, that was my life, that was my future. I started at York University, I auditioned for the program in the days when I didn't have to have a lot of technique, that's kind of when I started, when I was 18. But I fell in love with dance even more so through the improvisation that they offered at the school. So our creative processes range quite dramatically. This is the way that we work in our company. You know, we, we, we tend to defer to each other um, so that we can hear each other. In terms of creative process, my creative process, I like to say created with and performed by because my dancers are essential in the creative process. I generally, I, I look at it from class through to final output, about five to seven layers in any particular rehearsal time. And part of it also for me is that I have a whole physical language that I've been developing in the last 30 years uh, that we now call elevations. And so the elevations is a technique in which women can hurl, toss, throw men as easily as they can get hurled, tossed, and thrown themselves. And so how do we combine the physicality with the vulnerability and with the emotional and the relationship connections between individuals? Uh, I walk into the studio enveloped with either an image, an idea, or just a sense of what I want to tackle. For me, it was all Karen's fault. And she was the one who really felt that the work that I was creating was incredibly visual and that it would work in terms of the context of film. And Karen did everything in her power to encourage me, let's put it that way. And so she did a dance film course through Dance Umbrella of Ontario. Uh, she did a variety of different projects with film. And then in 1997, Bob Lockyer, who was then executive director of the BBC, was offering a, an intensive in Vancouver. And I decided to do that intensive using a number of my work sort of as a foundation to be able to play. It was a fantastic intensive. And in that year, in 1997, I made my first three dance films. Karen really saw the future in film. I'd say that uh, what attracted me to film was not so much the director side, was the performer side. I'm a fairly shy person, and even though I love performing, I still feel, and there's many people out there observing. My relationship to the camera made a lot of sense because there's just one eye watching me at the time. I feel like the relationship that I developed um, as a dancer with the camera was very, very intimate and one that agreed with me. And we're on faculty at Ryerson University. We're on faculty at the School of Toronto Dance Theatre, part-time faculty. And then we teach master classes all over the world. Now our company has four what I would say is four pillars, which is performance, which includes local seasons, touring, commissions, being commissioned, education, film, and community-based work. So those are part of the pillars, and, and education was one of the three founding pillars, which was performance, film, and education. My new work is called Exodus. In order to arrive, you have to leave. And what is that journey from leaving to arriving? It's this journey of these five very powerful dancers, of which Karen, of course, is one, that is moving through. And what is their journey? And where do they arrive? And that's what Exodus is about. I had created a solo about a woman who was waiting. And this year, what I'm doing is expanding and uh, ripping apart the solo to discover what she was waiting for 
and so what will be exposed are her responses uh, and other dancers' responses. We're creating the work specifically for the on-wave stage. We feel that there's actually an intimacy for the audience and performer. We have a concert coming up May 7 to 11. At the On Wave Theatre at Harbourfront. Come check us out.